Fox 66 News is your local election headquarters. Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump is shining a light on the importance of vice presidential running mates. Tyler Gallagher spoke with a local political analyst following the announcement of Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as Trump's running mate. And if voters are taking a closer look at both parties' vice presidential running mates, he is in our studio with more tonight. Tyler. Thanks, Jen. On the first day of the Republican National Convention, former President Trump selected Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate just two days after Trump survived an assassination attempt at a rally in Butler, PA. As the 2024 presidential election is just around the corner in November, the vice presidential candidates may be in the back of some voters' minds. With former President Trump and President Biden being the two oldest presidents in history, political analyst Dr. Joe Morris from Mercyhurst University says Americans will be foolish not to take the vice president into account when casting their vote. While we hope and pray nothing happens to whoever is elected in 2024, there's always that chance. So to have a vice president who uh, is somebody that could step into that position and do it really well, I think is critically important. Although Ohio Senator J.D. Vance used to be a staunch critic of Trump, Morris says the former president and his new running mate are very ideologically similar, and it's unusual Trump did not pick a vice president candidate that broadened his voters. With the announcement of J.D. Vance as Donald Trump's vice presidential running mate, we went to his home state of Ohio to see what some voters think of the decision. It would be good for the country to have uh, a fresh mind that somebody has not been in the political arena for too long, but still long enough to be able to know the ropes and how to handle himself appropriately and 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 do what's best for the country. Parsons says people in Ohio have good things to say about Vance, which will help Trump in the election. One woman declined to be on camera, but says both Vance and Trump want what's best for America, which is why she supports them. The Republican National Convention will continue until Thursday of this week. Back to you, Jen.